good morning next is uh, ambidend substrate last class we have discussed ambidend nucleophile now what is that uh, ambidend substrate uh, from the name itself it is very clear what is ambidend substrate that means some substrate example 13 dichlorobutane 13 dichlorobutane can be attacked by the nucleophile at two or more positions and are called uh, ambidend uh, substrate look at it here 13 dichlorobutane there are two leaving groups one is uh, this chlorine atom and the other one is uh, this chlorine atom so the incoming nucleophile can attack on this position or on this position this type of uh, substrate molecules are called uh, ambidend uh, substrate there are more positions for attacking by the uh, by the nucleophile okay now so some substrates can be attacked by the nucleophile at two or more position and are called ambidend substrate example is 13 uh, dichlorobutane other examples of uh, ambidend substrate are so or other compounds uh, which can act as uh, ambidend substrate are one is uh, allylic type allylic type allylic type type compounds can act as uh, ambidend uh, substrate look at here how allylic type can act as uh, ambidend uh, substrate ch3 ch double bond ch single bond ch2 uh, cl ch2 cl this is uh, allylic type uh, halogen leaving group is attached to sp3 which is attached to sp2 now look at it here if the reaction proceeds via sn1 you can see that the first step is the formation of a carbocation and the nucleophile will come and attack on that carbocation so here are there are two possibilities for the formation of a, a carbocation first one is the normal carbocation what is that ch3 ch double bond ch single bond ch2 plus okay by the removal of uh, halogen or the leaving group is departing from this carbon and you are getting this carbocation therefore the nucleophile can attack on this carbon and uh, the other possibility is uh, so uh, already we have discussed what will happen when a positive charge is created on this carbon this bond will be shifted to here so the positive charge will be on this carbon so you get the second carbocation like this ch plus and here it is single bond ch double bond ch2 okay so now the positive charge is on this carbon therefore the nucleophile can attack on this carbon or uh, uh, this carbon okay this is another example for uh, ambidend ambidend uh, uh, substrate because uh, uh, ambidend substrate of the type what type of ambidend substrate allylic type allylic type allylic type and ambidend substrate this allylic type uh, substrate molecule can act as uh, ambidend because uh, it can form normal carbocation and uh, rearranged carbocation there are two sides uh, for the attack by the nucleophile and uh, second one is uh, epoxy compounds or epoxy uh, substrate second type is uh, epoxy epoxy substrate epoxy substrate look at it here epoxy substrate okay okay this is epoxy uh, sub substrate when a nucleophile comes y minus okay you get uh, 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 there are uh, okay you are getting uh, and you get another y minus this nucleophile can attack at a different position and we get uh, two different products y minus and here you are getting the product a and uh, when it is attacking at a different position you are getting the uh, product b okay this is our epoxy substrate molecule this is our nucleophile y minus is nucleophile the nucleophile can attack on different position and we get two products a and b look at here what is a and b Here is our uh, okay. This here it is uh, H, and here is also H, H. Y minus our Y minus. This is our nucleophile. This Y minus our nucleophile attack on this carbon. Correct. So what will happen? This bond breaks and it will move to oxygen. 
So we get a structure like this. Here it is y, and here it is h. H. This is y. Okay. And here it is c, and here it is o minus, and here it is h. H. Understood? Therefore, uh, what is that? Uh, now this uh, nucleophile, this nucleophile is attacking on this carbon, and you are getting the product A. Correct? Now what is B? Look at it here. This is the product A and what is B? Look at it here. Again, I am taking the epoxy substrate. Here it is R and here it is H. Here is H and here it is H. Now the nucleophile Y minus, Y minus is attacking on this carbon. Attacking on this carbon and what will happen? This will move to, this bond is moving to oxygen. So what we get, we get, here it is O minus H. H and here it is uh, C, H, H and here it is uh, Y. Okay, so this is the product uh, B. So, uh, other than 1,3-dichlorobutane, there are two different types of uh, substrate molecules which uh, molecules which can act as uh, bidentate substrate. One is uh, allylic type, second one is uh, epoxy substrate. Okay, that's all about uh, ambidend substrate. Thank you.